everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be walking you guys through all the steps that I took to make this gorgeous balloon basket made up of fresh flowers and chocolate strawberries. So keep watching the video till the end to find out how I made this gorgeous balloon basket. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. So I came to a local store nearby and they have a beautiful collection of flowers but the ones that really caught my eye were the pink flowers and the white flowers because I thought they would really go with my balloon basket theme that I had chosen. So the things that you would need are a big transparent balloon, a Q260 balloon to tie your big balloon, some mini balloons, and of course an electrical balloon inflator. So I have my transparent balloon over here that I would be inflating and then deflating. I did not stretch my balloon out because I find uh, inflating and deflating more easy. So I would be repeating that step two or three times. So you inflate, deflate, inflate, deflate. Make sure you don't miss out the steps as inflating and deflating your balloon a couple of times would help to stretch out the balloon which prevents it from popping. So here I have taken my mini balloon. I have inserted a balloon stick inside the small balloon which would help me put the balloon inside the big balloon easily. So I would insert the mini balloon inside the big balloon this way and then I would carefully pull out the stick leaving the mini balloon inside the big balloon. So once your mini balloon is inside the big balloon, hold it carefully and start inflating it. And once you're done inflating, tie a knot of the mini balloon inside your big balloon. And now I'm inflating my big balloon. So repeat the same steps for all the mini balloons that you have. I usually like to put 5 to 6 mini balloons inside my big balloon. So here I have my Q260 balloon. I am going to be cutting the balloon in half to tie my big balloon.
So I use my Cricut Maker to cut my personalized greeting that would be going on the balloon. If you would like to learn how I do my customized greeting on my Cricut Maker, please do leave a comment in the comment section below and I would try my best to make a separate video on that. Once I'm done cutting my vinyl, I read it the vinyl and then use a transfer tape to transfer my greeting onto the balloon. So once the balloon basket is ready, it's now time to fill the basket with some fresh flowers and chocolate strawberries. So here I have some wet floral foam that I have soaked in water. I'll be placing the foam inside my balloon basket and the wet floral foam will help to keep the flowers fresh for some time.